Yeah, very big welcome to all the zodiac signs for the continuation of this meditation from Osho. The Book of Secrets, 112 meditations to discover the mystery within. I stopped at the technique number 10 uh, last year because I just had a lot of things going on myself but I realized I want to continue with these meditations. I once in a while meditated on those 10 different techniques just to get familiar with them and so I am ready right now to continue on our journey. And this journey is about finding your meditation techniques and this one is uh, chapter 7, Techniques to put you at ease. The number 10 was while being caressed, sweet princess, enter the caress as everlasting life. That was the last video. You can have a look at that if that is interesting you. Now we're at the number 11. And here it says, stop the doors of the senses when feeling the creeping of an ant then. So he talks about here that when he talks about the creeping of an ant or like the crawling of an ant, that this seems very simple but it's not simple at all, he says. Um, because we're so easily drawn out when something happens on our skin, right? Any little tickle, we immediately go and scratch or we check and we feel that something is, you know, going on. And the skin is one of our biggest sense organs. So he says, what is Shiva saying here? You have a thorn in your foot. It is painful. You are suffering. Or oh, one ant is there creeping on your leg. You feel the creeping and suddenly you want it to be thrown away. Take any experience. You have a wound. It is painful. You have a headache or any pain in the body. Anything will do as an object. It is only an example. The creeping of an ant. Whatsoever you are feeling, stop all the doors of the senses. And this is Pratyahara, the withdrawing of the senses, the fifth uh, sutra. Um, in the eight to enlightenment and he goes on with what is to be done close your eyes and think that you are just blind and you cannot see close your eyes close your ears and think that you cannot hear with all of the five senses you just close them how can you close them it is easy Stop breathing for a single moment. All your senses will be closed. When the breath has stopped and all the senses are closed, where is the creeping? Where is the ant? Suddenly you are removed far away. Now he tells a story about one of his friends and he had an accident and had to be um, restrained to the bed for at least three months. And he went to visit him. So he says, this friend who was tied on the bed, pray for me and bless me so that I may die because these three months are more than death. I cannot remain stone-like, and others are saying, don't move. I told him, this is a good opportunity. 
just close your eyes and think that you are only a stone. You cannot move. How can you move? You are a stone, just a stone, a statue. Close your eyes, feel that you are now a stone, a statue. He asked me what will happen. I told him, just try. I am sitting here and nothing can be done. Nothing can be done. You will have to be here for three months anyhow, so try. He would have never tried, but the situation was so impossible that he said, okay. I will try because something may happen, but I don't believe it. He said, I don't believe that something can happen just by thinking that I am stone-like, dead like a statue, but I will try. So he tried. I was also not thinking that something was going to happen because the man was such. But sometimes when you are in an impossible situation, hopeless, things begin to happen. He closed his eyes. I waited because I was thinking that within two or three minutes he would open them and he would say, nothing happened. But he would not open his eyes and 30 minutes passed. I could feel and see that he had become a statue. All the tension on his forehead disappeared. His face was changed. I had to leave, but he would not open his eyes. And he was so silent as if dead. His breathing calmed down and because I had to leave, I had to tell him, I want to go now. So please open your eyes and tell me what has happened. He opened his eyes, a different man. And he said, this is a miracle. What have you done to me? I told him, I have not done anything at all. He said, you must have done something because this is a miracle. When I began to think that I am just like a stone, like a statue, suddenly the feeling came to me that even if I wanted to move my hands, it was impossible to do so. I wanted so many times to open my eyes, but they were like stone, so I couldn't open them. He said, I even became worried about what you will be thinking as it was so long, but what could I do? I couldn't move myself for these 30 minutes. And when every movement ceased, suddenly the world disappeared. And I was alone, deep down in me, myself. Then the pain disappeared. There was severe pain. He could not sleep in the night without a tranquilizer. But the pain disappeared. I asked him how he felt when the pain was disappearing. He said, first I began to feel that it was somewhere distant. The pain was there, but very far away, as if happening to someone else. And then by and by, by and by, as if someone is going away and away, and you cannot see him, he disappeared. The pain disappeared. For at least 10 minutes, the pain was no more. How can a stone body have pain? This sutra says, stop the doors of the senses. Become stone-like, closed the world closed to the world. When you are close to the world, really you are closed to your own body also. Because your body is not part of you, it is part of the world. When you are closed completely to the world, you are closed to your own body also. Then Shiva says, then the thing will happen. So, I like this one because, of course, there's a message for me inside of this uh, sutra. But also I like it because this is the end result of yoga, the asana practice. When we meditate, when we go deep within, we start realizing that everything disappears and that we in Shavasana also, do not move. We become something else, something 
bigger because we liberate ourselves outside of this physical body and of course the leaving and the disappearing in it happens in your mind the body's still there but when we hold it still that's when it happens then like he says so beautifully so let's try this meditation you can lie on the bed and I'm gonna sit here on my chair but you can lie on your bed and place your palms facing up and then close your eyes and become aware that your eyes become heavy they drop into their sockets Your whole body becomes heavy. Your bones become like roots, like stones in the earth. And you too feel that you cannot move. Like a stone who needs an exterior force to be moved, you are lying here on your bed still like a stone. The only thing that is moving is your breath, is your inhale and your exhale. Your belly is rising with the inhale and your belly is sinking with the exhale. You feel more and more and that you're letting go of the body, you're letting it sink into the bed and that the mind, the eye, the eye that thinks that it's thinking is all of a sudden realizing that it is within this body, within this shell. And even though you cannot move, the mind can move. It can move from thought to thought. But even that is becoming more and more quiet, still, even your mind cannot move. Your mind as well becomes like a stone, like a fossil, like a statue. And that part within you that says I start or ceases to exist. The only movement is your breath. And you start to disappear. And you start to watch what is happening until I bring you back into the body.
begin to feel how you feel right now allow your senses reawaken, particularly your skin, your hearing, and your smelling. You can stretch yourself. Of course, you can continue to meditate. And then roll yourself onto your right, onto your left side. And be here for a moment, like a fetus, beginning to experience a new state of existence. And then come and sit up. the stillness and then like me open your eyes and notice the sense organ where were your eyes looking at Look at it fully. Become one at what you're looking at. Of course, I looked at the flowers and instantly I felt they show their beauty, show their silence, they don't speak, they don't put makeup on, they're just present, they look the way they look, they don't apologize for nothing, they are just here. Are existing. And so are you. You are existing because you went into the center. And going into the center, Osho says, is where you know the core of your being will communicate to you, will speak to you. And you will act out of that core and act out of that beingness. So I thank you so much for being with me. Until the next technique. Namaste.